Hi, it's Stuart Sutton with Remax One in Austin, Texas. I run OneAcrePlus.com. We specialize in selling homes on an acre or more, and I'm keeping you up to date regarding the current stats on homes on an acre or more. Here's what's happened since January 1st of 2012. Now, I had this graph up that did not include 2012 earlier. I've added 2012. You can see it in red at the bottom. What's happening in 2012, you see through the first six months, we've had 255 sales. Very, very good. You can see that's considerably more than what would have happened in the first half of the year for any of the previous several years. You can also see that the price per square foot is down. Now with homes on acreage, price per square foot is less of a factor, but it's still something to consider, and I'll show you why in a second. The average price, however, is up. As a matter of fact, the only year in the past five or six years where the average price has been higher was in 2009. And the list-to-sell ratio, meaning how close to asking are sellers getting, was the highest since 08. I'm sorry, since 07. So all the stats are on a very, very positive trend at this point. Here's something that I want to make sure you're very aware of. The 255 sales is actually a higher level than any full year since 2006. Now, 2 times 255 obviously is 510. Now, assuming that we repeat the first six months during the next six months, this will be the highest year of sales in many years. Now, we may not sell 255 homes again in the second six months of the year, but regardless, it's going to be vastly superior to any of the previous several years, probably at least higher than 2008 through 2011. So 06 and 07 were pretty darn, darn good years for homes on an acre or more, and this year will probably be equivalent or better. The price per square foot I mentioned is the lowest let me tell you what I think that means for homeowners and home buyers for homes on an acre or more. Since the average price is up and the average price per square foot is down and the average list of sale percentage is up, here is what's going on. It's easy to throw these stats at you, but what do they mean? Since the average price is the highest it's been in a while, but the lowest price per square foot in a while, what that means is simply this more expensive homes are selling. In other words, more homes in the upper price ranges are selling. In other words, the average price is higher because we're seeing more sales of four and five hundred thousand dollar homes. And I have the statistics to support that as well. The reason the price per square foot is lower is very simply that larger homes tend to sell for a little bit less per square foot. But at the same time, it means that price per square foot is lower because people are getting more home for their money at this time. So the conclusion is simply this. You're getting more house for your money. There are more expensive homes selling than in previous years. Last but not least, buyers are paying closer to asking price because they know these homes are a great value, and they are a great value. Once again, the average price is higher, but the average price per square foot is substantially lower. And it's substantially lower because you're getting more house for your money in the one acre plus market right now. So bottom line is it's a great time to buy. And it's actually a better time to sell than it has been in years. So buyers and sellers are coming out ahead. Once again, I'm Stuart Sutton. I'm with Remax One and I run OneAcrePlus.com. Let me know how I can help. 844-3254 or Stuart at OneAcrePlus.com. Thanks a lot.